Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we are in the second half of the year and this particular time is very crucial especially if you are preparing for exams, for competitive exams and want to have different career prospects. Uh, for that sake, this particular time is very important because after few months you are going to have lot many options, lot many exams uh, with which you can go into different zones or go into different areas of your career. Okay. Uh, like apart from CSRnet, so CSRnet is of course for getting into PhD and uh, like doing research with a particular fellowship with JRF fellowship in your hand. Then another exam is there which is GATE, okay. And I am here to talk about GATE in particularly because I have been talking about this many times over my past videos but here I just want to make this again a very obvious that why you should. Uh, like focus on gate exam and why you should not ignore gate exam gate is also one of the important exam which you are going to give especially if you are planning to make your career in research okay or if you want to do higher education and if you want to go uh, into research and want to do higher studies for that sake gate is again an important exam apart from these one more major exam is there which is UPSC GSI or geoscientist exam i'll be talking about that a little later or maybe in another part of the video or in another video but here i am just uh, focusing upon gate exam okay and i'm going to talk about that see um, often students who prepare for gate exam and i'm talking about pure science students like gate exam is an exam which is conducted for which is more hyped for professional courses for students who are giving or who are uh, pursuing btech uh, M Tech for them this exam is important because this exam can get them into different PSUs, different organizations, different companies for job and at the same time for pure sciences students especially if I talk about chemistry student. So this exam again is also important for them to get into PSUs and this exam also serves one more motive that is to get into IITs, get into ISERs, get into NITs for their PhD. Okay. Now, these are two different objective which this gate exam sets. Now, why this gate exam is uh, approachable or I can say that gate exam, gate exam is comparatively easier than CSRnet. See, for CSRnet, there is a, a particular number of seats for JRF. Let's say there will be like 200 JRF from chemical sciences or 500 JRF from chemical sciences that varies every year or in every exam cycle that varies every time. But uh, and, and those are the only people who are going to get into uh, like PhD with a particular fellowship in their hand. Okay, So for CSRnet if you are JRF qualified then only you get a particular fellowship which is somewhere around 35 to 42,000 depending upon JRF and SRF. So that's, that's the amount which you get uh, once you uh, get into a PhD through JRF Okay, and the, remember the number of seats are limited and exam is of course competitive you might have already seen that in if not you should know that the CSRnet exam is highly competitive exam. Okay. GATE on the other hand is also competitive but GATE has a benefit that because there are a lot of IITs, there are a lot of institutes especially there are three generation IITs now we have top IITs, first generation IITs, we have uh, like second generation IITs and then we have third generation IITs which are relatively newer and because of them you can even get into these IITs with not that great rank. So if your rank is somewhere around 2000 even I have seen students getting into IITs with rank of 2500 or 3000. Uh, but the only thing is that if you have a good GATE score or if you have a good GATE rank in that case you probably will not be asked for net qualification but in case if your rank is lower then many IITs especially those second generation IITs they ask for net qualification as well. But yeah the, uh, the benefit is that once you get into these IITs once you crack there because because uh, you are going into IITs through this gate exam you have to go through another uh, like re another process there will be a, either a written test or there will be an interview okay based upon that they are going to select some students and those students will be uh, taken into those IITs as a institute fellow students okay or a, as a institute fellowship students. Now those students will enjoy fellowship equivalent to JRF okay even though they have not qualified JRF but still they, they will do their research in IITs, they will have equal fellowship as a JRF gets and to get into IITs through GATE is relatively easier as compared to uh, qualifying CSIR JRF. So I just want this thing very clear, I just want to make this thing very clear to all the students who are preparing that GATE exam does not take a lot of effort or it does not take a lot of uh, separate preparation method. Okay, 
if particularly for chemistry i'm telling if you are preparing for cs and it you just have to change your approach a little bit for uh, like to focus upon gate exam especially you know that uh, for gate exam your physical chemistry portion needs to be little bit stronger because it's not like that the physical chemistry has more weightage it's like physical chemistry is the portion which decides the rank or which decides the uh, how much score you are going to make because those questions are more challenging in gate okay so you have to just focus upon or you have to just make your physical chemistry relatively stronger and for that we have our batch running on our app as well as on our website link is there in the description of this video also i will pin those link in the comment section so you can purchase our batch for physical chemistry preparation uh, for the physical chemistry part preparation of your csi net as well as for the gate exam now in next one or two days gate is going to announce or it is going to uh, start their application process and i'll be making a detailed video on strategy or uh, like how you can maximize your score for gate exam i'll be making a detailed video on that but here i just want to make this thing clear in your mind that you should not skip gate exam okay don't think like gate is only to get into job or to get into psus by the way i just skip that point but yeah i just want to re remind you again for that that if you get a very good rank in gate if you get top 100 top 5 uh, top 50 rank in gate in that case chances to sit into an interview of a psu increases and uh, in that case you can get into psus as well psus like which which call for chemistry student like iocl uh, ntpc so all these call for chemistry students as well so you can apply in these psus and you can get into these places now apart from iits isers psus there are few more institutes which offer positions or which offer job or phd based upon gate one of them is barc bhabha atomic research center and one more is isc bangalore now isc is topmost research institute of india you know about that again you can get into that through your gate score as well but for that you should have a very good gate score but again if you if you want to get into isc you should have a good gate score as well as net or grf qualification uh, so with that you can get into uh, isc and do your research over there okay so that makes uh, this particular gate exam a very dynamic exam which gives you a lot of opportunities to get into different sections you can get into psus you can get into uh, iits you can get into isers you can get into isc you can get into uh, like organizations like barc so all these opportunities open up once you sit for the gate exam or once you qualify the gate, gate exam okay so to qualify the gate exam the first thing is to make up your mind that you are willing to give gate exam okay because i have seen many students they don't even know about it that gate can open gate exam can open these many uh, frontiers for them for their for their career so you should be aware about it and i always advocate for gate exam and i always emphasize on it that if you are preparing for csr net if you are preparing for higher education if you are preparing to do research to do uh, to study for your like if you want to do higher education in that case gate is one of the most important exam apart from csr net you should keep giving csr net but you should also prepare and you should also sit for gate exam this is one of the important exam which you should give okay because gate is going to announce their uh, notification it is going to announce their uh, like application process it is going to start very soon so i just thought to remind you all about this and uh, soon i'll be making more videos for gate exam and do let me know if you have any question if you have any queries in the comment section below i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care